Welcome to Rocky News, which is going to be a weekly video, sometimes with guests, sometimes with not, just discussing the latest news. This week, Martin Johnson and Ashton. Welsh going down to uh, Yarpyville. And the All Blacks official report on why they lost the World Cup. The All Blacks first. Official report. It was the ref's fault. Tosses. Wales going down to South Africa. <sighs> South Africa actually provided me with one of my great moments. Got to meet Nelson Mandela. Not many of us do that. Remember it very well, Pretoria. He'd only been in for a few months and uh, we all got to, to meet him before the game. <clears throat> you get to meet quite a few people before a game and you're really not, not interested. But everyone excited about him. And this is a sad but true story. So I got to take him down the line. And he was awesome, chatting to the guys, listening to the guys, he just had something about him. And if you think about it, if you had the chance to meet Nelson Mandela, what would you ask him? One thing you could ask him, what would it be? Well anyway, we had our chance, so guys were chatting to him. Got to Dowie Morris, <coughs> sort of turned to look at Dowie, had a strange look on his face. Not unusual for Dowie, but this was a particularly strange look on his face. And I said, you know, Dowie, Nelson Mandela, you know, Dowie Morris. And Dowie said, um, Mr. Mandela, do you have tax discs in your cars? What the f is that all about? To be fair to Mandela, he sort of looked around, looked at a few of his aides, everyone was looking around at him, and, you know, we had to move them on, you know, it was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, Dowie. And, uh, one of the most amazing things I've ever asked. And, I, and the, the bit that really worried me after the game was all lying around the change room. I remember, I said, Dowie, what the hell was that all about? He went, oh. He said, you know, I just I panicked. And it was the first thing that came into my head. <coughs> Worry. So, so the Welsh in South Africa. Going to be interesting. As I said on the, uh, on the site, a few of the Welsh boys a few of the Kiwi boys think the Welsh boys are going to have a bit of a shock. We shall see. England. Martin Johnson is now in charge. Rob Andrew. Rob Andrew. Rob Andrew. Ashton, anyway, is... Disgrace. Disgrace. I don't understand. You have to be honest and you look and you think, we have a guy who is a great player. We have a guy who has won two Heineken Cups as a coach. He's won the league, I don't know, about four times. He's gone to France with a bit of experience. He's now come to another club and he's got them up to second. No great star players or nothing. Dean Richards. He ticks all the boxes. He ticks them all. He's got huge respect. He's got great experience. He's proved it as a player, he's now proved it as a coach manager. We go to a guy who is awesome, who won the World Cup. World class player, one of the best we've ever had. Great captain. No experience. And we've given the whole thing to him. And we've got rid of a guy and treated him appallingly. 
and I have to say, Mr. Andrew, who's a mate of mine, it's uh, it's not been good. Baron? No, oh, Mr. Baron. Very strange. Sympathy for Ashton, he comes out in the press. And Mr. Andrew is now manager of the Tour to New Zealand. I think his bits have been forced on the block by Mr. Baron because he thinks his little protégé is not very popular anymore. So we shall see. Anyway, who knows, but we shall find out. And now, the weather. <laughs>